Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Happy Friday. What a treat to spend this morning with you, to reconnect, to take an opportunity to be a love ambassador, to remind ourselves of our responsibility, our opportunity, that we have the ability to make the world a better place by stepping into that more connected version of ourselves, by taking the opportunity, looking through our day, where can I be a helper? Where can I be connected? Where can I rehumanize the world? A participant in the Pink Path yesterday was commenting on how so much of the modern world is dehumanizing. And I've been thinking about how much effort it requires and how important it is to have a practice that rehumanizes, that pushes you to, to see humanity, to be an example of humanity and connection and what is possible as a human being. So that is what this is, I think. I think this morning practice, this love ambassador bullpen, this love morning gathering is an opportunity to remember that we are humans and connected and we have so much alike. We're more alike than we are different. And the world would rather hug you than hurt you. True, not everyone in the world, but I would argue that those people who do not want to hug you, they're lost, they're confused, they have forgotten our connection. They have been dehumanized. So we can take the opportunity to reconnect, which I will do right now. Hello, if you are here live. Hello, Faith. Good morning to you in the car. Faith is grateful for ink. And good morning, Brent. Much love to you in Florida, as well as Faith is in Florida. Hello to you on the East Coast. I love you both. And hey, Erica, who is a love badassador. I like that. An ambassador and a badassador. Thanks, Erica. And good morning, Etoile. I love you. Aloha. Ah, Faith is grateful for pink, not just ink, but pink. I am wearing a pink Be Present, Have Integrity, Align with Love t-shirt from the lovemorefearless.com store. It's got some holes in it. I don't know if that's from me tearing on things or if I have moths or what, but I don't know, it makes me kind of feel cool and roughing it a little bit. You might be able to see behind me, I'm trying out a new camera and some new lighting and trying to, to allow for sharing of the beautiful sea behind me is the Pacific. I can hear the gentle rumbling of the sea. I'm not sure if you can hear it through this microphone, but it is wonderful to share it with you. If you are grateful for anything today, I would love to hear it. I am, I'm not sure if you are following the updates from Anna's journey which is at helpanna.hugnation.com as the fundraiser. So I published a video of her son, Damien, who is 16, and he, he and Anna tuned into Gratitude yesterday. It's the first time I'd heard from them or seen them, and it was so incredible to hear their stories and their words and their gratitude as well as the reality. You know, I have, I've been trying to be very careful about being aware of my tendency and desire to focus on cone, focus on cone, because there is a lot of crap right now. And I want to be conscious not to turn their story into like, yay, it's all rainbows, because it's a nightmare. And it is within this nightmare that I'm trying to focus on some light, but it would be... Um, irresponsible to not acknowledge the struggles and the difficulties and, the, and the, the situations that, you know, so many people are in of fear and danger and it just sucks. So it was nice to talk to them and know that I wasn't trying to, trying not to make their story two dimensional. So they, it was good to talk to them. I published, I put his words on in the update. I'm going to put her words up later today 
I also published an update from Alex. Alex is the second driver. He was the one who was picked up in Aachen, Germany. And what I didn't tell initially is, is Alex is from Ukraine. His family's in the Ukraine. He is just working in Aachen, Germany. And so he was one of the ones that went and was part of the extraction team that got Anna and her kids and their dog. And now when they dropped off Anna and her kids and her dog in Paris, Alex went back. He went back to Aachen, rented a minivan, and is now getting ready to head back to the border with two other cars and a caravan and pick up 19 more people and find places for them. Amazing. So many examples of humanity. So I'm grateful for these examples of love ambassadors out there, of humanity, of people demonstrating their humanity and reminding us of our possibilities. And this practice of trying to shift our identity from one who needs to like protect ourselves to one who is connected and is looking for opportunities to be of service. And sometimes that service is as simple as smiling and saying good morning. And sometimes it is life-changing and dramatic. But we have to change our identity as a part of the human family so that when the opportunities come, we can walk through the doors. Good morning, Beth. And good morning, Tom. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Penny, with your discomfort with my ring light. It is a lot easier to set up than most things. As weird as this might look, it is, it, eh, it's, it's, it's not perfect. I'm trying to, 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 to share the ocean. And I probably won't do this again. It's a little bit of a hassle, and it's a little weird. Um... Good morning! Wait, I just saw Sherry. Yes, good morning, Sherry. I love you. Good to see you from around the world. And hello, Aaron. I love you too, Aaron. Good to see you. Hope you are having a beautiful start to your day. And Mingle is here too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday! I have a meeting after this with Athena from BRCVR. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., I'm going to be in BRCVR doing a talk about the 10 principles. Do I have the link in my, I think I might even have it copy-pasted. Yes. I'm doing, I'm going to be in BRCVR tomorrow. I think you have to sign up. It's free, but I think you have to sign up. Talking about the 10 principles. So if you have a Oculus or access to BRCVR, come join me in virtual reality tomorrow to talk about Burning Man, the 10 principles. I feel like as much as, as interesting as it is about VR, I think the, the way that 10 principles have impacted this love ambassador and this Ukraine stuff is even more significant, but hopefully we'll talk about all of it. So that's tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific. And then noon Pacific tomorrow, if you're not in a gratitude circle and you're in San Diego, you can join me for First Saturdays, the Hel Help the Homeless. Homeless, hope the, <laughs> help the homeless initiative, which uh, we're in our 12th year or 13th year, just celebrated 12 year birthday. So we're gonna be heading down downtown. If it's raining, we're just gonna give away food and care packs. Otherwise we'll give out clothes too. So if you've got donated clothes or bags or luggage or anything that you'd like to pass on, we can bring that down, and organize it and then we'll give it away. So. Let me know if you need any details on that. So that's tomorrow. I'm grateful for the opportunity to reconnect. I'm going to be future grateful for good weather tomorrow. Good morning, Amy. And good morning, everyone. If you are here have not yet said hello, please say hello so that we know you're here, so that we can be reminded of fellow love ambassadors out there. That feeling of not being alone is so significant which is something that Demian said in his, his gratitude. He was saying that, you know, a year ago, I, I'll paraphrase, but with something like, you know, I, I was feeling like, you know, a loss of faith in humanity. And I interpret that as this feeling of like, you know, people don't care, you know, you're alone. And then his experience with Hugnation, 
shifted that story and he got to see examples, which is exactly the point here, right? If we can be the example, then reality changes. You can't say people are no damn good if you're a good person. Well, then there is a good person, that, therefore that rule. You could say lots of people are no good, but all you have to do to obliterate a, a reality you don't like is to be different than that. And then you give other people permission. That is the role of the love ambassador. That is what we have been deputized to do. And we're fully qualified to do so. Super simple. You know, Richard and Alex haven't been in, in training to learn how to help refugees. They just have been focusing their identity as a person who helps. And then when the opportunity to help came, they got in the car. We can all do that in tiny ways and sometimes big ways. I'm very encouraged by that. We make ripples that inspire ripples, which inspire ripples. Ah, well, I hope I see you, Erica. Have a beautiful day, Aaron, and anyone that must go off to do your thing. We will have a hug in a few minutes. And I encourage you to check in BRCVR tomorrow to tune into a gratitude circle at any time. Ooh, we've got book club also in two hours. Whoops, book club, we're, I think, chapter 12 and 13, something like that, of An Untethered Soul, which, don't tell anyone, I have not read. So maybe I'll have time to read it after my meeting at 10 o'clock. We shall see. I'm in trouble. Hmm. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Someone is doing construction next door. Good for them. So if you have not said hello, please do so that we can see you and feel you. The goal of this morning is to feel that strength of community, to feel that awareness that we are not alone. And so as you go into the world that sometimes feels cold, and it can be easy to like dim your light or tone it down, you can be reminded that you are not alone, that we have this powerful foundation of like-minded, open-hearted people like you and me and us. And we all are rooting for each other and rubbing each other's back and saying, yeah, keep smiling, keep saying good morning, keep saying good job to one another. Thank you. Good morning, Delvic. Hello and happy Friday. Hope you guys have something exciting for the weekend to look forward to. As I said, I've got first Saturdays tomorrow and BRCVR and a friend's birthday and Pink Path on Sunday. Week three of the Pink Path. Oh my gosh, going so fast. I gotta figure out, revisit my notes so I know exactly what this week is about. I get so deep in it, I forget that there's like chapters and notes and stuff. Hello to you, Lisa in Dallas, and hello to you, Amy. Great to see you, Amy. Every time I look on my desk, I see my little measuring tape, and I go, I need to measure myself for Amy. I need to measure myself for Amy. I'm a broken record. So, wherever you are, Give yourself a squeeze. Give yourself a hug. Hold yourself in this moment. And embrace this body. Appreciate this body. Appreciate that without any thought from you, even as you sleep, it breathes. It balances all of your chemical systems. It regenerates. It heals. It digests. There is... You are hard pressed to have another instrument or item that you cross paths with that is this incredible. And yet we just, it's just a part of our everyday. So let's be grateful for it. And let's be grateful for all the people that we get to cross paths with, whether in this room or in our world, in our lives. And let's bring into this hug everyone that we have as a part of our lives, our physical worlds, our digital worlds, everyone that's ever been 
through this space that ever has opened to be a love ambassador, let's feel them holding us in this moment and let's hold them. Letting go of any politics or opinions or even choices and just in this moment embracing that place of humanity, of shared desires, of shared fears, of love. And in that place of connection, let's take a deep breath in and give a squeeze and feel us all squeezing you as you send that love out. Take a, hold it in at the top. And let it out. On behalf of Grandpa Caleb and all of you beautiful love ambassadors, thank you for being a part of this Hug Nation hug. I love you. Ah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Justin. Ooh, Justin's going to a resort. Hopefully we'll see you for Pink Path. If not, I hope you're having an incredible time and totally present and in the moment and forget about any of the responsibilities except for being with the people you're with in the moment you're having. Grateful that you were here before the hug as well, Lisa. I'm grateful for a call I had with my parents this morning, talked to both of them. They have been so supportive and I think proud of Hug Nation's connection and, and the way it's been of service to Anna and her family. And it's just nice to, to have that, to have that to talk about with my parents. And grateful for a lot of people in my life that have been offering help. I'm grateful to Adam, my friend who has gifted me this light that I'm using right now and has been sending me all sorts of articles that are helping me to get my head around some projects that I've I got ideas for and he's helping me to really move forward in a constructive way. So super grateful for my friend Adam. Grateful for all the people in the Pink Path that have been sharing themselves. I think that's one reason why I've been so like energized and in the zone is just that, that being in a space where people are being raw and authentic and real and it, it, it just feels so fertile and healthy. So thanks everyone who is being in that, in that space with us. You don't have to be in the pink path to be in that space. As, as Mingle has pointed out, she goes, I'm not taking the course, but I definitely am on the pink path right now, which I love that. So thank you for being on this path with me. Thank you for being a love ambassador. And thanks for finding those ways this today to, to, to be part of Team Human to say hello and spread this collective basket of awesome, this bouquet of each of our individual flowers. We get to each share it with the world as we go through it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you.